Welcome to the Hotel Guide of the Westin Resort and Spa here in Mauritius in Balaclava. We're on Turtle Bay, hence the name in the hotel tour. Today we're going to be giving you a guide of the hotel and a little tour around just so you can see when you're coming here. Or if you're thinking of coming here, you know where everything is, what the hotel's like, because there's nothing online like we were when we come to this hotel. So if you come follow me, we'll get started with the tour. First area of the hotel that you come to, you have the concierge desk here just on your left hand side, some more seating area, general seating just behind me here. When you first come to the hotel, your bags will be brought in here with you, bellboys will put them to the side depending on what time you come. Check into your rooms at 3 o'clock, no earlier. When you check out, I know it's a bit depressing to say this, it's from 12pm, however you can have a late check out until 5pm max, which costs you 80 euros. Yeah, this is the main area you come, just over here behind me. As you can see on the desk here, when you come, you'll be able to book all your other a la carte restaurants like the Mystique, Beach Grill, Kanga and the Teppanyaki. But however, when we get to them restaurants, we'll explain them to you later. Now, if you follow me, we'll take you to the seasonal taste, which is a buffet, and we'll explain to you about them there. First stop is the seasonal taste restaurant. So this is the first buffet area where you come to the hotel. It's just where you come to the right. You can only have breakfast and dinner here. It doesn't serve lunch. Breakfast is from half six in the morning till 10.30 in the morning. They serve your traditional pastries, do toaster machine. They have fruit like kiwi, watermelon, some other fruits like pineapple. They also do an egg station where you can get fresh omelets. Uh, you can get fried eggs. They also have other little sides where you can get boiled eggs, scrambled eggs made if you want. They have a pancake and a waffle station. So you can put like chocolate on your pancakes, Big jam, lychee jam if you want. Lychee is only available in December year round in Mauritius by the way. They also have a cereal station here with yogurts and that. Dinner is from 7 until half 10 every night. When you come here for dinner, it's mainly the same stuff. I don't really change it up that much. You'll have a pasta station where you can have different pasta sauces, cheese, you can have garlic, onion, all that with it. Oh, we've got bread station where you can cut your own bread rolls and everything. There's also a salad station available here at dinner. It's, it, it does change vary. It's not all the same. Sometimes they have like a Mauritian night. They'll have a meatless night which means that don't serve red meat so try to be a bit more sustainable and this is your main buffet area if you come with this this way we'll take you to the retreat bar which is the main bar you'll come to and you'll probably sit and have your first drink when you check into the hotel This is the retreat bar where you come to. First of all, they'll probably bring you here when you first check in. They'll give you a wellness drink called a ginger iced tea. It's really nice. Don't knock it until you try it. I thought, oh, ginger in the drink is going to be horrible. But here you have that. You have an eight ball pool table, American pool table here, which is cool. Played some of the bar staff. They will play with you if you're going to play with your own, which is good fun. This bar's open from nine to 11 at night. If you're on an all-inclusive package, on this bar you'll be able to do local drinks, cocktails, local beers. You can have cocktails at a Virgin. And also here at night, when we show you the board, there'll be live singers. And we, we've seen two dances. We've seen the Mauritian Saga dance, and we've seen an Indian, some Indian dance from the north to the south, which is really cool to see. Um, so you'll see that. Them, them shows are normally on between quarter past nine and quarter to 10, but we've noted since we've been here. The next stop area, we'll go head to the restaurants in the main pool. But just before we go, just behind me, as we walk down, here there is a shop called the retreat shop you can buy little knickknacks like fridge magnets sun cream you will pay a lot more for sun cream in that here by the way you can buy like little thing like beach dresses that your women wear and you can buy snorkels as well the full face ones um you can buy now i'm not sure how much it is but there is a shop here just to let you know so if you do run out of sun cream or maybe you need toothpaste you can get it in here so we'll head over to the restaurants in the main pool now So first of all, we're here in the first hole. It's a heavenly spa and there's a gym. So you've got a gym this side, a spa that side. They do yoga classes. They do music and wellness on Tuesdays and Saturdays here. Yoga classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. The gym is 24 hours. You can't get in after half seven at night. You need to notify someone from reception to get into the gym. But as you're coming up onto the walkway, there's loads of nice little fire lights and everything. And it can get very loud here at night with frog noises and everything like that. So just to let you know. The next area is the main pool area and some of the restaurants will take you there. So this is one of the areas you'll come to in the resort. There's three different restaurants here. As you can see, you've got the Mystique, the Fusion, and the Kangan. Just to let you know, the Fusion restaurant, when you come here, it's kind of included in all-inclusive and full ball, but it's not really. So you get a thousand rupee credit each. However, it's a free course menu. So say if the free course menu is 3,000 rupees, you get a thousand rupees towards that. So you still have to pay 2,000 rupees. And they have certain different free course menus that you can do. So you will have to pay a supplement on the Fusion. It's not included. It's only open at dinner. Select 
nights. There's a board later on where we'll show you where you can see what time restaurants are open. Pangan is an Indian restaurant. We haven't actually eaten here during our trip. This is included in all-inclusive. Full board, half board. You have to ask what is if it's included in a la carte. But you have to book it at the desk where we showed you near reception. And we have the Mystic Bar, finally, which is the Pan-Asian. We, we've ate here for two nights out of the five we've been staying here. In the evenings, they serve Pan-Asian food, which is like mee gong, which is like rice, chow mein, vegetable spring rolls, kung pao chicken, that kind of stuff. And also, most importantly, the Mystic Bar is the only one open for lunch. The lunch menu is completely different. You can order things like fries, burgers, that kind of stuff. So if you come here, you'll find the three main restaurants here. But next, we'll go to the main pool area. So this is the main one of the main pool areas. You've got one of the restaurants, you've got, actually got two of the restaurants. You've got the Fusion and the Kangan restaurant that overlooks into the pool. If you bring kids here, this is the only pool, but well, I have two pools. So this main pool, kids can swim in this pool. It's a huge pool. Some beds are not close together. There's parasols everywhere. We also got a chess board here behind. We can play chess during the day. And just behind Ellie, she's behind the camera. There's a table tennis you can play. We've played that at night. It's really fun. It gets very hot and sweaty. But you can go to the, the pool area and have a little dip in here. So there's not much of the pool area we need to know about. However, just over here at the back is the beach area, which we'll show you in a second. We'll go ahead over to the beach. Okay, so this is the first of two beaches. Just behind me, you have the actual bar. You've got a Mystique restaurant, the Kangan and the Fusion just here behind me. You've also got a little rock pool area here behind. When you're here in the north, some of these beaches are rocky, but you can perfectly go into the water. We've done it. I'm, I'm the fussiest person with beaches to mankind. I don't like rocks and all that stuff, but there's plenty of easy areas to get into the sea. If you don't, you've got an amazing pool that you've just seen. But here, there's loads of sunbeds. They do some nights. There's a fire pit behind where they tell you stories about Mauritius. They do from like half six at night at sunset. And also, when you're on the bay, you'll see perfect sunsets every night. Also on the beach, you'll find stray dogs not just on the beach around the hotel as well because you know people feed them we love stray animals don't be horrible to them they are homeless and starving they need food speaking of which there's one behind me i don't know if you can see her she's around there somewhere so there's two stray dogs that you'll see two females on the beach and there's one male where you park the car at the front of the reception and there's some little cats around them all like kittens some of them but this is your main beach area it's really nice especially at night time if you want to sit and drink watch sunset we can't recommend it enough around here and also just behind me there is a little jetty i think they do set up private dinners here um, and it's a great place to go watch the sunset in the evening if people are not having dinner of course it's just a nice place if you want to get a photo of the bay of turtle bay um, but now from here we're going to head over to the other side of the hotel so i'm getting distracted the little dogs just walked past us so we're going to walk over to the other side of the hotel there's another little beach that we'll stop at next but on the way we'll stop at a little notice board that tells you where restaurants are open i'm supposed to say when i'm just supposed to tell you where restaurants open there to do little activities like there's say stargazing yoga all that kind of stuff so we'll head that way next So this is one of the places we wanted to stop you quick. When you're walking along the front as if you're going to the breach grill, when you come here, you'll know. This is one of the areas where you can see they'll have restaurant, what restaurants are open on which day, and what sort of little activities and dances they have going on around the hotel. So if you're coming here, just have a check every day. If you're going to the beach grill or one of the beaches, I did say there was two beaches. There's actually three little beach areas around here. So we're gonna head to the beach grill later and then beach number two out of three. So we we'll get going now. This is beach area number two or three. I did say one of two earlier, but this is actually two or three. There's a lot of little lounge areas around here. You also have some beds on the beach. You've got a little, there's, it's a little bit rocky. Some bits, some bits are not rocky, but there are little bits of coral around and sea urchins. So if you're going to come on the beach, I'd highly recommend bringing sea shoes. To Mauritius, just in general, there's only one or two beaches that don't have actual coral or anything in. There's no bar around here, but there's a beach pool just around the corner, which will show you where you can get drinks from. And there's little stations by the main pool where they serve peach iced tea in little cups that you can refill during the day they'll refill it for you but this is one of the main areas just to let you know Mauritius they do have high tide and low tide times so you will see the difference during the day when the tide lock behind us now it's low tide sometimes when you come here it'll be high tide it, it changes with that being said we're going to head over to the beach grill and the main not the main the second main pool area which is the adults pool area and then we'll show you that way in the boathouse on the third beach Just before we show you the adults pool and the beach area, this is the beach grill here behind you. It's open here at lunch. So lunch is included on the all-inclusive half board and that's different depending whether you have lunch or dinner included. You can get pizzas, 
fish and chips, very nice, fries, loads of other different things on the menu. But also, just to let you know, this is another restaurant where in the evenings, it's open, they serve dinner from seven, but you get a thousand rupees credit towards your dinner. So they have different three course menus, like I said at the Fusion. So if the menu's 3,500 rupees, you'll get a thousand taken off that, and then you'll have to pay 2,500 rupees supplement if you get my drift. So as we've moved, we've got beach number three here. This stretches all along the front. If you keep walking this way, if we pan the camera just to show you quickly. So if you keep walking this way, there is a boathouse. They do sell a few trips, like private trip to swim with the turtles for 7,000 rupees. I know it's one of them. Do another catamaran trip. Just go and ask them. They'll do a couple of trips. You can do your kayak hiring, your pedlos. I'm not sure about windsurfing because we haven't done any of them, but there is a place, that is the place where you can go hire them for a certain time. So here we have the adults only main pool. There's an impressive tree just to the left of me on screen. They have little birds called bauble birds. They're yellow and black, probably kindly mixed up with African weaver birds. You can get here, but this is the only pool, the infinity pool, where no kids are allowed here during the day. And just behind me, there's a little station where they do ice peach tea that you can have during the day where you're here. And you've also, where the beach grill is just there, behind us, you can get drinks there during the day too, while you're here sunbathing. So next stop, we're gonna be going behind the hotel and we're gonna show you the little kids play area next. So one of our very few last stops around here in the hotel. If you do have little ones, it can be hot sometimes. If you're here between October and February, really, temperatures range between in the north, between 28 to 35, up to 41 degrees Celsius here in the night time. All year round, it's gonna be warm, even in the winter, 25 degrees. There's a little kid's play area. You can chuck them here while you go to the sea. Probably wouldn't recommend that. We don't have kids of our own, so you do what you want with your little ones while we're here. But towards our last stop, we'll head this way to our room. just stopped here by our room. Fortunately, there's not gonna be a room tour in here. This is gonna be a separate video. We have a junior suite, and this is our block, Villa La Raposi. Every little building like this has their own little name for the rooms, room types and stuff. If you're watching this video as it comes out, the room tour will be in a few days, or if not, it'll be at the end screen, so stick around. If you enjoyed this hotel garden tour, and you found it really useful, please smash that like button, because it means a whole world to us, and it helps push this video out to other fellow travelers like yourself. And also, if you're new, hit subscribe, because we'll have Mauritius vlogs going out, and we'll, we're going to another hotel later on the Anantara Aiko and we'll be doing the Tomasa Resort and Bel Ombre too. If you have any questions about the hotel, link them down below. We'll be happy to answer them for what we know about the hotel. With that being said, we'll see you in another video. Bye!